Hi, my name is Brian Hazard, and we're going to be learning Qcodo over the next few screencasts. In this episode, we'll be discussing downloading, installing, and configuring the framework. So this is the Qcodo website, qcodo.com. I'm just going to pop over to the downloads page, and I'm going to choose the most current zip file because I'm on a Windows machine. And so this is what the extracted download file will look like. What I want to do is go into this www root directory and just copy all the contents over to my um, server document root. And so once we've copied that, I'll go ahead and try and load the page in my browser. Uh, but as you see, we, we have some errors here. And the cause of, the, of this is actually twofold. We haven't configured Qcodo at all. And we also haven't configured the web server at all. Now, some of you uh, might not have access to the php.ini file, but we need to set the include path uh, to include the Qcodo includes directory. That's a lot of includes in that sense. <laughs> anyway, so one way we could do that is if you do have that access to php.ini, you could just go in there and edit the include path um, variable. If you do not, uh, another way to do this is actually to add one line of code at the beginning of the script so that it knows where to look. And that's the uh, approach we're going to take. So this is the index.php file. What I want to do is go ahead and open that so that we can edit it. And we're going to use this built-in method for PHP called inisset. And what we're going to be setting is this variable include path. Okay. And what we want to set that to is everything that's already in the include path as well as the server's oops, document root slash includes. And what that's pointing to is actually this directory here. And you'll see that we've got some configuration files as well as this little file called prepend. And this configuration file is really nicely documented and it'll really give you a, a heads up on um, what it's doing. But I prefer to use for this tutorial this configuration underscore profile because it's laid out in a way that'll be easier for you to see on the small screencast screen. So I'm going to edit, open that up so I can edit it. And you can see that we're running a server instance of dev or development. And that's good because that's the server we're on. I just want to go ahead and paste it. And I'm going to use the same trick. I'm going to set the Qcodo doc root constant to that same server document root okay and I'll go ahead and save it now I'll point out that there's uh, a DB connection constant in here as well we'll be using that in some future tutorials but not in this one alright so once that's saved I'm gonna go ahead and try and reload the page and you'll see that it worked. We've got a couple of links here um, that will be useful in the in the future screen screencasts. Um, but for now, we've got got it up and running, and we're ready to start development. So I hope to see you in some of the next screencast episodes.